My name is Danielle Lottridge and I'm a senior lecturer in computer science at the University of Auckland. I study people, I study computers, and how they interact. My work especially focuses on design and understanding people so that we can design better tools to get people moving and to get them thinking. Computers are in every part of our lives. We need to understand how they are shaping us as well as how it's shaping the work that we do. So our research studies exactly what happens at the moment of interaction with technology. We're measuring uh, physiological reactions like heart rate variability and galvanic skin response to tweak how our second to second experiences evolve. So we have two sets of goals in this work. The first set of goals is around the science. It's around asking questions and being able to operationalize those questions so that we can get a firm answer. The second goal is about using that knowledge to create better designs and better technology. Folks in the US are consuming 11 hours of media every day, and studies have shown that we switch our attention every 11 seconds. That's a lot of multitasking. We don't understand the long-term effects of that, so that's what part of my research is attempting to uncover. One of our projects with multitasking is using accelerometers in everyday smartphones to be able to understand what people are doing at their phone at any one time. So for example, if you're switching between passively watching videos to creating content, that's really important to understanding the long-term effects. We're exploring augmented and virtual reality as rehabilitation technologies. So for example, we built one system where the canvas for painting moved around in the environment. The older artists had to reach towards different canvases placed exactly in spots that would help their rehabilitation. My students play an important role. We are looking at so many domain areas, and so we need them to be interacting with participants, to be building these tools, to be gathering data. What I enjoy most about this research is diving into people's experiences and then offering them new tools to use to improve their lives.